Hi, I'm Ben, welcome back to the channel. So Quansheng have just announced the release of not one, but two new handhelds. Now are they the ultimate handheld? Let's have a look. So both the new Quansheng TK11 and the TK118 both boast a receive range of 500 kilohertz right up to 1160 megahertz. On transmit, not only do they claim to do the standard VHF and UHF bands, but they're also claiming to be able to transmit on 25 to 29.8 megahertz. So that covers your CB and 10 meter amateur band, as well as six meter handband, 50 to 54 megahertz. It says in the spec that they receive on FM, AM and single sideband. There's no indication as to whether it will actually transmit on sideband or AM, assuming it's probably just FM transmit, but um, that's what the spec is saying. As for power output, it's claiming to do 10 watts, although uh, the spec does actually say less than 10 watts on VHF and UHF, so we'll have to see what that actually puts out. And then on the 25 to 29 megahertz and on the 50 to 54 megahertz, uh, it's saying it'll do uh, five watts or under. Both the TK11 and the TK118 have 999 memory channels. It has dual antenna ports with a standard SMA connection for the high gain tri-band antenna, which covers 50, 144 and 430 megahertz. The second antenna port has a stereo jack plug and is for the HF bands covering long wave, medium wave and short wave. It does say that for the 27 megahertz band, then a separate antenna will have to be purchased by the user. It does also appear to have some other cool features, including spectrum analyzer, magic voice, and it says infant like and alien voice, if that's any use to anyone. It's also got universal slash smart code breaking, which I assume may allow for like third party firmwares in the future. The difference between the TK11 and the TK118 is that the TK11 has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery and the TK118 has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery and the 8 version also has the metallic style front face to it. So there you go, that's all we know so far about the new Quansheng TK11 and TK118. No release date yet and there's no indication of uh, how much they're actually going to cost but I shall definitely be trying to get my hands on a pair of those uh, as soon as possible. So in the meantime, please uh, like, subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.